Hello everybody, Breakdown Guy here, and welcome back to Core Keeper. So, I've been pretty busy fishing away here uh, in between episodes. I like, right before I go to bed or, you know, when I get home from work, stuff like that. Just kind of setting up the auto fishing. And so I went and brought some seawater home. And we got some of this acid water that we got from these two biomes. So there was this already discovered. And we already went up here once um to get to the sea so i went and grabbed a bucket from there and there these are two of the five waters i believe you can bring home um this is also like classified as one of them but in order to get like the specific biome ones like you're gonna actually have to go to those biomes and set up a fishing spot so what i did down here is i added a, a bucket of water just normal water to these two little crevasses that were there and because this one's in the clay biome and then this one's in like the forgotten caves i think that's what it's called um i'm able to just jump back and forth back here to, to fish in between the the different things <clears throat> so that gave us a bunch of stuff for fishing so i was able to get a gold fishing ring and we got the neptune necklace and we already had the scuba fins so all we're missing is the kelp uh mantle and the diving helmet the diving diving helmet you can get from the sea so we just haven't been lucky enough to get it yet um i did make a new fishing rod a scarlet fishing rod because we managed to fish up a lot of scarlet from over there so i made a scarlet workbench scarlet workbench i haven't made anything inside here other than the fishing rod so far which is pretty good uh, from fishing we managed to get all these chests and in those chests were this stuff here um, Just briefly go over it there and you can just like read it and take a look at it But nothing really too special a bunch of ores uh, Over here is the same thing sorcerer stuff bikini top, you know and a few other little stuff for sale. So all these are actually empty. I just put them out for a show to show you like that that's what I got for chests from fishing. Um, what else do we do? Uh, I did organize a lot of stuff. So we do have a lot of sets of our stuff there. Uh, almost completed. Oop. So here we're just missing the peasant pants, but all these ones are, are all completed sets. We do have some rings down here, some weapons and stuff that I've been keeping, and then just offhand stuff. So we did get like a golden jellyfish from that. Just keeping the extra lanterns that we have. Um, because of all the fishing, we've made quite a bit of money. And then in today, uh, we want to get a new pet. So we have eggs that you can go around and you can find in the game. And those are the little X's on the ground. You can get them from there or you can get them from like little breakable chests that are all over the map and stuff. Or you can buy one from this guy here. And that's exactly what I did. I bought three of them. And then you put them in an incubator, which you can make at one of the crafting tables. They're pretty cheap. It's just glass and, and one, something else. Do, do, do glass and copper so it's not a very uh, expensive thing to make and the glass you can make out of here and making a glass melter so that's pretty easy um the reason why i made three of them and bought three of them is because apparently stats can change in between each one of these depending on what you're looking for so we're gonna go and take all these out and check them out and see which one is kind of like the better one so if I just uh, do something like this, crack them open. All right, so his is burn damage applied on hit, plus two glow. This one here is same thing. 16 burn damage. I wonder if they're all gonna be the same thing. You're at least getting different colors. So, so far they're all different colors, but, uh, interesting. I thought that they, uh, they all changed those, uh, those in particular things. Or unless those, that's what happens when you, when you level them up, they gain different stats, maybe. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really played with pets much, but, uh, that's pretty neat that we got three different ones. So which one should we choose? Hmm. Let's go with this one. And then we'll put that one on our, on our on our character. There we go. He looks pretty cool. So what this guy is going to do is he's going to shoot fire at enemies. 
So what we'll do is we'll just put you guys here for now. <clears throat> Keep you as backups. And then you can feed them stuff to gain experience. So we'll just feed you this stuff to get you experience. How's that? How does this work? So do you like put this in your inventory and then look at your pet? Oh, you do too. All right. Let's see what happens when we level you up a lot. Let's see if you gain stats or some kind of crap like that. There we go. Now let's have a look at you. Okay, so your range damage goes up. Nothing else gets applied. Interesting. Interesting. All right, that's kind of cool. I'll still take it, though, because that's like uh, still pretty damn good. All right, so now we got ourselves a pet. That's, that's beautiful. So what are we going to do today? Well, today I want to go adventure. Um, second of all, I did some mining and setting up some highways. <clears throat> so that way we can start bringing home our ores and stuff like that. Um, we might get into that later on, setting that kind of stuff up. But I did go to the iron one here. Um, I didn't make the path to the other iron one that's right here. We do have another copper node up here, right here. So that one's going to be a long trek to bring back home at one point or another. Um, I might just eventually, like for ones that are really far away, just might set up teleports later on when it comes time. That probably would be more plausible than just carting them home like this. But um, for now, I'm just going to cart them home like that. Um, just because I'm lazy. And it would look kind of cool <laughs> for now. And then all the conveyor belts later, we can just like repurpose for a mob farm later on. So it's not really a loss of loss of resources. So let's go over to this uh, waypoint over here. And let's start investigating this area. And I'd like to find the brood mother. That would be kind of like the first kind of goal I'd like to do today. And um, I got a new food too as well. This is a pretty damn good buff. 50 plus mana. Which actually I'm going to kind of exchange for that one for now. And then 21 magic damage and 36 magic barrier. So that's just combining two fish that I've been fishing out. So which is pretty awesome. All right, uh, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. Let's go cause some trouble. Let's see if we can go find out here. Now, the broodmiller is not that difficult because you can kind of like cheese her out a little bit, but there should be a way that we can go in here. So let's, uh, oh, let's change stuff first. That'd be good bog. Get the right, uh, the right thing doing. There you go. You can get different things from those as well, but what do we get? Or it's just all slime. Interesting, huh? So maybe I should grab a couple of blocks here. Alright, let's should have uh, grabbed my. What the hell? Wait, can you? Good. So I really don't want to be stepping on these. Beautiful. All right, so let's go forward here. There's a lot more of these things here too. They get affected? They do. That's kind of helpful. Oh, get away from me. Doing your nastiness. So now, like, I got extra firepower because of that guy over here, so that's kind of nice. So he'll always be kind of, like, helping me out. I just gotta make sure I keep enough minions out as well. That would be great. looking very acidy in there. I really should have brought my um... yeah I'm gonna go back and get it. <laughs> yeah upgrade. Oh wow what a reception. Hello everybody. Welcome. Welcome to your death. That'd be great. That's awesome. Oh. Hello. 
That was like a welcome back Carter moment. All this good stuff. There we go. Oh, this extra firepower is kind of nice. That's a lot of stuff. So I turned out and I made uh, this thing here. The Scarlet one. I think it would be a really good to have. Then we can just pick up all this stuff on the ground. It's going to be really good for the pet too because the pet's going to go up so many levels. There you go. I think I got them all. Could continue downwards or upwards. Let's go up. Make a few more of these guys. Just don't want to get screwed. Okay, this looks promising. Maybe let's get uh, crap. I don't have any stone on me. Can I mine this shit? Oh, I can now. Oh, that's good. Couldn't mine it before. Now I can. I'll just remove my torches since, like, these guys always destroy your torches anyways. Alright. Make sure we got fresh guys out here. Those, um... These guys here in the corners there, they're, they, they put, like, a lot of crap on the ground. It's like an acid. So you kind of got to watch out for them. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty damn good. A lot of action in there. Ah, oh, that guy there. Don't let him hit you. <laughs> they, uh, they do blow up. And they can, like, ruin your day. Oh, like that. That's not bad. I was already picking up all the crap anyway, so that worked out. All right, keep going. Ooh, that's a lot of larva egg things. Ah, <laughs> uh, little larva. Good stuff. Good experience for your for your the the whole minion thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to speak in a minion thing. Try to get some more mana going on here. Alright. Try to let my guys do all the work here. Try. I can go pick up all this crap in the meantime. Bunch of guys over there. A lot of ways to go in here. That's pretty good. God, it's just so many of them. I should just drill those out. Save my mana. Make sure I have enough for my other guys here. Oh, they're doing good. Gotta do a lot of running around. Let them kind of do the work. picking up here, but oh, let's get out of there. Okay, get some minions. This helps with the uh, despawning of them. I got a respawn rate of them, sorry. 
Damn. A lot of those buggers up there. Jesus. Alien movie all over. I can pick up here. Doesn't seem like it. Alright, get him, guys. Get that shit. Good stuff. Oh, more over here. There's a way there. Maybe we'll just take you out. Get your attention. Perfect. Make your way over. Uh huh. Of course, right? Give you access to me and take full advantage. Oh, this is a pretty big area. Wasn't expecting it to be this bloody big, but. Yeah. Let's get some more minions out here. Before I break that down. There you go. All fire! Good stuff. This is going to be good for the mob farm later on. All this crap. Ah, get away from me. Good job, guys. Good job. So proud of you. What do you got in this chest? Eh, just normal time. Take the chest, though. So, there's another chest up there. So nice, I can actually mine through this now. What do we got in here? More junk. So, I wonder if I should just kind of, like, branch mine through this and see if I can find where the, the broodmother is instead of, like, Going around. Good. Okay, so that's the end. Let's grab just all connects. All right. So she's gonna be farther down, I think. Looking like the end of the biome over here. All kinds of crap down there. Another chest. We got here. More junk? Take the chest so that way I know that I've been there in that area and I don't like leaving them behind really. Alright, so let's go down. We had another way we can go down here. Right here. That's right. Attack them guys. Take no prisoners. Right, what do you got in here? Come on, doing good, doing good. Nice. Oh, we got the statue there, that's pretty good. Hmm. Can I throw away the... I can scrap one of them. Scrap a couple of them. Don't really need them. Uh... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Just makes me some extra space here. Alright, let's get some minions going. Nice. Hmm. I think we found another edge to a biome. Interesting. So, I wonder where she is hiding in here. Let 
got another chest here. Probably a bunch of crap that I already had. Uh, see that there already? A lantern, four glow, nine health. Interesting. I already got one of them. Some mining, see if we can find this brood mother. Jeez, a lot of guys in there, man. Alright, let's uh, some more of these guys out. Just up that way. Another chest here. Bunch of garbage. Oh, amber larva. Obviously. All right, let's keep going. Shit. On the edge of the biome again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> we found what we were looking for. So it took a little while. I uh, had to go all the way around here, but really, technically, we could get it from either side here, which is nice. So that's good. So what I'm going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to try to kill everything without letting our minions like hit the, the broodmother because that would really suck. I don't really want to initiate a battle. So we'll just try to get our minions to do their thing. Same with our, our pet. So our pet shouldn't aggro it either as far as I know. And the, as long as the, the minions don't target it, we should be fine. And as long as I don't hit it as well, right? Oh, shit. All right, well, never mind. So, it looks like we're doing it. We're doing it a uh, little fashion way. I'm just going to go around here and pick all this crap up so they don't spawn more crap. Oh, shit. I gotta go there. Alright. Just let my minions do their thing, and I just gotta run around and make sure I stay alive. Alright, I gotta summon some more minions. I wasn't expecting that to happen like that. Because <laughs> uh, uh, she starts to spawn them a lot more. have a uh, shovel on me either. Alright, 
We're just gonna have to keep going like this. We're doing not bad, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, we're not doing that great. What? Oh, that's not good. Just barely surviving here. <laughs> Alright, summon some more minions. Go back to the shovel. Or the thing. Clear my way. It's insane. <laughs> well, as long as I can kind of keep doing what I'm doing, I shouldn't be not too bad. She is getting hit. Summon some fresh guys in. Okay, well, looks like she uh, took out my, my roundabout. Or somebody did, anyways. As long as I don't run out of the shovel or spade. Oh, I'm almost out, too. Speaking of which. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh! <laughs> So, that didn't go so well, so maybe I should remove the pet. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, take my pet off for now. And then, uh, yeah, that was just brutal. Maybe we just repair some stuff and we'll go back and try that again without... <laughs> so, this is what I was referring to about preparing an arena. Um, all the way around the broodmother herself, there's a spot where you cannot dig out so if you make like a loop all the way around her all the enemies that she spawns won't be able to touch you out here the only thing you're gonna have to worry about is her spitting the slime at you and uh yeah i think that's a great deal because as you've seen how like you just run around like crazily like trying to save your life but it's this way it makes it a lot easier so what we'll do is we're gonna put our pet back on we'll summon a bunch of guys here and then uh, let's get the show on the road. Bam. And then now it should be okay. Now I just got to avoid all the crap that he's going to shoot at me. And just move around. Let my guys do all the work. <laughs> I always seem to be doing pretty darn good from here. It avoids... Uh, Avoids having to deal with all the enemies. It's the best thing to do. Makes a real hard fight a really easy fight. And then I could just start picking up all the crap here too. There you go. Yeah, it takes all the uh, takes all the the, the stress out of the uh, fight away. That's for damn sure. Spawn some more guys out here. There you go. And you just make like this fight like so super easy. Oh, crap. You can just run around too, maybe, and I don't know. It's, they're still going to target the enemies, I think. Probably better off just sticking to one side. Oh, shit. I guess I kind of helped you a little bit. My uh, my weapon kind of sucks. When it comes to shooting. There we go. A little bit better. I got her almost down. She's down to a quarter health. I spawn some new guys out here. Should uh, buff up again just to make sure. Oh crap! It's okay. Still doing good. Still doing good. Not as bad as we were earlier. <laughs> I clicked off screen there for a second. 
I'm out of mana. I'll let that recharge. Pick up some crap on the ground. There are so many guys here. Probably gonna have to concentrate on trying to shoot the boss myself, maybe. Oh my god, look at all those guys over there. <laughs> That's insane. So thick of guys there, it's hard to get through. Those big guys, they take a lot of a lot of shots to kill, right? So oh. my god. All the chaos. A couple shots in there on that thing. My guys can't seem to be hitting it, so. Oh crap, I changed, uh, changed things here. Just to make sure I got some buffs going. Bring a new batch of guys out. My god, it's a lot of enemies. not bad. <laughs> this looks like my guys are just doing the uh, the damage to the uh, the enemies and I'm doing the damage to the broodmiller. I got no choice. Oh crap. Missed those ones. Here, I should clean this up. Makes for a longer fight than I guess. <laughs> Almost done, almost done. Gotta sneak in a couple of shots here and there. Range has been very good on the uh, on the staff there. It's insane the uh, the enemies. I right, gotta pick up more of this crap. <laughs> insane. course. Alright, get some more guys out here. Oh, that was bad. Yo. Pick this crap up. Come on, almost there, almost there. Sneak in the shots, sneak in those shots. I don't know if those are even hitting. There's some of you guys. Yeah, that one got him. Okay, so somebody else back there is hitting them too. I think my... Uh... There we go. We did it. We did it. Took a little bit of... Uh... Took a little bit of time, but... I think that's probably like the... The no headache way of doing it. So where do we get out of here? broken handle i think that's good to make the uh that really good uh sword life on melee hit yeah you know nothing too nothing too horrible nothing too great either <laughs> all right so let's get back home all right everybody i think that's about uh, all the time i got for today's episode uh so we managed to get ourselves a pet our pet now is uh level seven does uh, some pretty good damage so i'm pretty happy about that um we did beat the broodmother so that's pretty awesome we ended up getting this uh broken handle i think that's going to be for that that sword like i said a little earlier and uh, i think that's about all we really got like the clot ring but uh it's just something to add to, to the collection of rings more or less which is the ones down here oh, which i already had so you see it's just a uh, sellable now but uh that's it so i hope you enjoyed the video everybody peace Take care, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.